My man Boar. I made iced tea. Nice. This is the doctor's special recipe. Well, give me some of that special recipe. I think you're going to like this a lot. Well, you know who's back in Doctor Who land? The master's back. I have no idea who that is. Well, we're going to dive on in. MI6 has taken over, and half of the spy population, or maybe even all the spy population, has been taken over. Even that one guy, who is in charge of everybody, 7% different species. I have no clue what you're talking about, Kadassi. Oh, we drinking tonight. So, you got no idea what's going on? No. So, what are your theories? What's this master guy no, doing? I don't even know what the master is. How am I supposed to have a theory? I just think he's some dude who's really obsessed with the doctor and mm -hmm. is and is hell bent on just messing with the doctor. Like I don't even know if the master wants to get like revenge on the doctor or wants bad things to the, happen to the doctor. I just think that the master wants to be the doctor. I think you could be onto something. Well, you may not have seen Doctor Who before, but I'm gonna let you know a couple things about the master. I we, am the master. No, you were not. We last saw the master when he was in the show with uh, David Tennant and he ended up taking over all of Earth by making everyone a copy of himself. So we all know that the Master is some kind of like egotistical maniac. What is the Master gonna be up to this time? We don't know. Apparently he's spreading his like alien DNA to all the spies. Is he trying to go like Mission Impossible? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Remember when the master, but we didn't know he was the master, mm -hmm. and he was he was all excited, and he's like, Doctor Who, you're the best. You're the coolest person ever. And then, and then the doctor's like, you want to come inside the TARDIS? And he's like, yeah! I do remember all that, and it was awesome. I don't. So one of the coolest things happened in Doctor Who today. What? They were working on the bottom of the police box with all the wires coming out of it. I don't think we've ever seen it getting worked on in that way before. The doctor was all up inside the TARDIS, had cords going everywhere. And like, the thing I'm most baffled by is she was working on the TARDIS. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, the TARDIS is just in MI6. Yeah, and it's like how they did never, it get there? They never took it to MI6. They drove a, I they don't drove know, a, a car. A super angry AI car or something. Speaking of which, when they got to MI6, the one guy who's in charge of the whole thing is like, uh, where's the doctor? Where is he? Where is he? That's sexist. Mm-hmm. She's like, I got an upgrade in her I, best British I, accent. And I think she was referring to her cool earrings that like one's up here. Uh-huh. And then the other one's down here. Ooh. And then there's a chain from here. Yeah. That goes down here. You are really focusing on her ears this episode. I have a mega ear fetish. Been looking. What were we talking about? I don't know. You just started checking out my ear. You're gonna. You don't have enough money to pay me to look at my ear. But I brought the drinks today. Oh, okay. So but... you have to pay me. Oh, that's interesting. This is my new job. That's your new job. I go to bars with drinks. Uh-huh. And then the bartender pays me. That is bizarre. Says so that's five bucks. That's five? Do you have a five? This is like, I don't think you've ever paid me before. I got 20. Well, I'll give you change next time. Or sure. So how long are you doing the uh, iced tea business? This is my first go. I got the idea from the doctor. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw her fly out of that TARDIS with mm -hmm. her iced tea. She just rolled in like, I've got iced tea. Everybody seemed really pumped about it, especially her new companion. That is her new companion. I think his name's the master. He's like the, the nicest companion out of all the companions. So there's that Graham guy. Mm -hmm. So annoying. Can't stand him. He's, he's just there to complain. Yeah, O'Brien just follows her around like a little puppy dog. Yeah. Lost one too. And he's just like, is this the thing I can complain about, Doctor? Doctor, what about this thing? Can I complain about it? And then there was that, that Ryan guy, and he's like, when he's, he's the worst actor of all time. Did you see him? When he goes to meet the David Bartell, and he's like, oh, 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 I'm a photographer. Oh, I'm a photographer. That, that looked really good. I, that was good. You were practicing? Well, I am an actor. <laughs> yes, you are. 
What was that all about? It's the finger guns. I'm just excited to see you. I like you, Bar. You know, where I come from, we don't do finger guns. What kind of guns do Here, you put, do? Give me your hand. That is weird. I've been doing that to you every time I've been in here. And you it's know, weird. It's still to this day, and now it's you're weird. Gonna I'm going to complain weird. about it. You're gonna I'm going to continue to complain. So the whole I'm time, done. you've just been faking it. You've been faking your way through our whole friendship. You know who else has been faking it? The master. What he looked like he was faking being an MI6 guy the entire time. He was like all nice and suave and everything. And then right at the end, yeah. he's like, I tricked you all. <laughs> You're weird, Cadassi. What? You forgot your... Whatever. I'm not paying for the top up. Maniac, maniac up on the floor. And I'm dancing like I've never danced before.